Hey everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again. Taking a look at Annex Core. Now people often ask of the various releases of Antix. Okay, there's an Antix full, which obviously is the full distribution. There's an Antix base, which is kind of a stripped down uh, version of Antix without still with a lot of bells and whistles, but without all the extra Windows managers. Uh, you know, it comes with Fluxbox, it's it's uh, it's a little more stripped down, and then there's Annex Core, a very small download. People with limited internet connections might be tempted to download it, uh, but what Annex Core is, it is it is the meat and potatoes. It is the kernel, a few tools attached to it, um, uh, and that's largely it. There, uh, it, it it's it's a base from which you can start to build up your own custom version of Annex. We're going to try that. So I'm going to show you how to, first of all I'll show you install it knowing that uh, Antix Core, a little bit like the old Ubuntu server installs where it was all command line. Antix Core is all command line. So we're going to start it up. Now I'm going to do this in a virtual box. I'm on my main system right now. And uh, uh, we see I've got Antix 13.1 underscore 386 core Libra ISO that is the core version for this iteration of Annex there is not a 13.2 core so you can build it up from there um, as you want uh, we'll talk about what the Libra means here in just a second as soon as we get to booting so we'll boot up now it's going to look a little weird because uh, I've, I've got this running in a not only in a virtual box but also in a uh, scaled window so you can see the text a little bit easier the Libra means that uh, this is a uh, the kernel is a GNU kernel. It is a free kernel. It means that a lot of the firmware and things you might need to operate some of your hardware aren't going to be there. Now I use a GNU kernel on my ASUS EE PC netbook. Uh, actually worked really well. It had an Atheros chipset. Worked. Fine. Didn't have to do anything. Worked fine. I was really surprised. Uh, on my HP laptop. No, sorry, it doesn't work. My wireless won't work. I need the, uh, I need both for. I need some firmware. And I need some other things. So, uh, we'll walk you through that as we go. But first, we're going to talk about installing this. Now, welcome to Annex, powered by Debian testing. Well, yes, no, maybe, and perhaps, um, at the moment. Uh, Annex login. Login as root. So we're going to say root, and the password is root. In this case. And you saw that it said to type type the CLI dash installer. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, here's the requirements that we need. You see we don't need very much space. 0 0.4 0 0.7 gigabytes and 48 megs of RAM. Do you want to repartition the desk? Uh, I'm going to say yes. You can do this ahead of time. I actually recommend doing it ahead of time. I just wanted to show you what it looked like. If you don't, uh, you can use this program to 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 make your new partitions uh, as they are. Now, these partitions are already good for me, so I'm I'm not going to make any changes. Now, you need to type in the full partition name of the system you're using. Now, you can see at the top it says disk is colon backslash dev backslash SDA and then I want the first bootable position partition so that's going to be SDA1 uh, file system use I'm going to use 3 for ext4 do I want a separate home partition no and now it's going to copy over to the new partition it's going to take a little time. I'm going to pause the video here and then we'll get started again once it's complete. Okay, the file copy is done. Now it's asking to install Grub on the MBR. There is a bug of the CLI installer. No matter what you say here, Grub's getting installed. Know that before you go in. I'm going to say yes, but if you say no, it has been reported that it gets installed anyway. Grub installed. I'm going to keep the computer name as Annex 1. You can type in whatever you want. Is this a remastered snapshot installed? No, this is a fresh install. Username Dolphin. Uh, you 
two passwords and a password for root. There we are. Cleaning up the database, and now we're good. So now it says reboot the program without the CD to start the program. To start the program. All right, so type reboot. Reboot. It's going to say remove the disk. Okay, we've removed our virtual disk, and now we're popping back in. We have one option to boot. And you're going to be amazed how fast this boots, even in a virtual box. A sharp-eyed watcher will notice that there are missing firmware error messages. Here we go, Dolphin. And there we are, logged in to our Annex system. As you can see, there's not much installed here by default. It's a command line. There's no X server by default. But it is a full operating system, and you do have a few things installed uh, that you're definitely going to need. For one, sudo is already installed, S-U-D-O. That's already set up and ready to go. You've also got, let's see here, i got some notes here on what's already set up. You've got the nano text editor, sudo, and of course, you've got the apt package management system. I'm going to be walking you through setting up a custom install in the next couple of videos but uh, we're going to make heavy use of apt and the, and the, as the package management system because there's no GUI there's no synaptic here we're building from scratch I'm going to assume that if you're watching a, if you're going to go through and do an annex core install you're ready for the command line okay for tips tricks and how-to's head over to annex.mepis.org or throw up a post to annex.freeforms.org it's Dolphin Oracle signing off have a great day